welcome to day 10 of the exercise challenge. So, um, I actually was up this morning and exercised for day 9 and visited with my kids and visited with my husband and um, didn't get the recipe in the crock pot that I had intended to get in the crock pot. And um, before I went to bed, I ended up asking my husband, hey, do you mind? And he was like, no, of course not. So, his throat is so bumpy. Oh my gosh. So anyways, um, my husband put together this recipe. It's called Slow Cooker, I think it's Healthy Chicken Pot Pie Soup or something like that. Anyway, it's a recipe that we really like. Um, it's, it's actually very, very good. It's, it's really quite delicious. It's very basic ingredients. So anyways, he took a video of um, just him putting the ingredients in the crock pot so you could see everything, so you would know what it was, how to make it, if you wanted to put it together. Um, so we'll go through that and I will do a, a voiceover so that you actually, I could tell you what it is that's in there and how much of the ingredients he used and that kind of thing. But it is definitely a fabulous recipe. I would highly recommend that you guys have some. You try this soup, especially if you like chicken pot pie. It's not exactly like a chicken pot pie inside, you know, with it being like super, super, super creamy and all that kind of stuff. Although you could definitely take some of the liquid out of the soup and mix it with, um, mix it with some like tapioca starch or something and put it back in and make it into, you know, a creamier consistency if you chose to do that. But anyway, so let's go ahead and just jump right in and we'll talk about the recipe and all the ingredients in there and all that good stuff because yeah it's definitely worth it's definitely worth trying alrighty so here we go we have got one very large chopped onion and three stalks of celery diced that is going to go into a crock pot there is some water already in the crock pot actually but there's going to be a total of 12 cups of liquid in here when we get done and the next thing that we're going to add as you can see are two cups of already dried, not rehydrated soy curls. And we actually added a third cup. Just to keep that in mind, you might want to add another. For the garlic, it actually calls for three cloves of minced garlic. We already buy our garlic minced up because it's just super easy and convenient and we go through a lot of it. And on this one, I actually just mentioned to my husband to just shake in the spices. So until it looked pretty. That's pretty much what I told him. Shake in spices until it looks pretty. So he had oregano, going to shake in some thyme, and then he's going to add some black pepper. And the original recipe does call for one teaspoon of each of those things, but I have found that it definitely needs a little extra thyme and a little bit extra oregano. So just sprinkle those in, whatever makes you, makes you happy. Now, the water is supposed to be um, actually veggie broth, so in order to make a veggie broth, we use the Better Than Bouillon No Chicken Base. Um, so you have a total of 12 cups of water in this recipe, so it calls, that makes um, either three or four tablespoons of the veggie stock. I believe that we end up using um, four total, which would be correct amount for 12 cups of water. And so my husband's just adding the rest of the water in here. So the last ingredient that's going to go in here will be bay leaves. And if you guys have never purchased bay leaves um, from an Indian grocery store before, I would highly recommend you look for them there. They're a really, really economical price, and they have a very good quality of spices. And that will be all that goes into the crock pot at this time. All right, so the soup has been cooking for approximately four hours on low now, and we're going to add in our next set of ingredients. So the first thing that's going to go into here is um, a small amount of tapioca starch. So there's about a tablespoon of tapioca starch in there. My husband's going to mix this just a little bit to try and um, get that tapioca starch mixed into there, and you do want to... Um, Mix it just enough that you can have um, a little bit less thin liquid, make it a little bit fuller liquid. Not much, it doesn't take much, just to get that uh, cornstarch mixed in really well. And now we're going to add in the mixed vegetables. And we actually ended up adding 
two full packages of frozen mixed vegetables to this, so do consider that. Mix it up real good and put the lid back on it for a little bit at this point. Uh, and yeah, take the bay leaves out before you're going to mix it, guys. <laughs> totally forgot that. Before you blend it, take out the bay leaves. All right, so the last part of this recipe is to take one cup of unsweetened soy milk and mix it with one tablespoon of rice vinegar and let that sit for a few minutes and it will make it more like a buttermilk consistency. You add that in to give it a little bit of creaminess, a little bit more texture going on. It's really, really yummy. And you mix it up and now you guys have soup. Bon appetit. I hope you like this one. My family sure did. Alrighty guys, so I am home and um, I have not eaten breakfast yet. We are going to work out first and I'm not, like my leg muscles like really high up close to my um, lower underneath my butt are really sore and so I don't really feel like doing a workout video per se. I'm feeling a little more lazy than that. So I am on my exercise bike. So that's what I'm going to do for either half an hour or 45 minutes depending upon how long um, it takes for my husband to get tired of doing the gazelle, which is on the other side of the room. Um, it's just a like a walking machine type of thing. You go like this back and forth with your arms and stuff. Um, so I'm gonna ride the bike, he's gonna do that, and then we're gonna go downstairs and eat, and I'm probably going to make some oatmeal. That sounds very good and very filling, and um, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna read to my boys, and then I'm gonna go to bed. And then I don't know what I'm going to make for food later. I really think I'm feeling up to, um, a salad and hummus platter. That's what I think I'm gonna go with. Both of those sound super fantastic to me. So anyways, we'll see what I end up doing later, but that is that is what I think my goal is going to be. Um, who knows, maybe my husband will make something super delicious for supper and I'll just end up eating that. I don't know. Who knows? Anyway, <laughs> I'll talk to you guys again later and I hope you're having a great day.